Good morning. Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today we're going to do a vlog. A day in my life. I started it yesterday. But then I went on a ride. 28 mile bike ride. About killed myself. No, I didn't. But it was a long ride. For my first time out, I'm feeding the boys. I'll show you in a second what I do with their food. Um, but I rode 28 miles, so when I got home, I was a little depleted. I'm still trying to figure out food-wise what I need for energy to be able to ride my bike 28 miles, 50 miles for that matter. So I've determined that I'm low. I need more food to have in my pack or my back pocket. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. All right, let me show you. We're going to do the cat food. I'm coming, baby. Do the cat food. I'm making iced coffee today because I'm a little warm this morning. And I thought, hey, let's make iced coffee on our way out the door. I need to, okay. I need to run to Costco. And I need to get a new helmet. I don't like my bike helmet. I've had it for years. It doesn't fit my head properly. So this is the time. I'm just going to buy a new one. And, okay, baby. Oh, you're hungry. And, yeah, get some groceries. So, let me show you real quick what I'm doing with the cat food and my coffee. All right. So, I just took the can. I split it in half. And then I put a little warm water on it. You see how thick it is? Alex especially doesn't drink enough water. Wellington drinks tons of water, but he also doesn't like this super thick. And I've also tried the broth ones. I've tried different ones. He just, he's so fussy. But I just add water. Let me just tell you, it's gross. It smells funny, but I also use warm water, not cold water. So it's, you know, I hear you, buddy. And then I just stir it up. This There's no grain in here, so it will not absorb it. So they're getting their water. Now, Wellington, like I said, he drinks water, but Alex, not so much. So we do that for them. And I'm gonna go give it to them and then I'll come right back and we're gonna make our, there he is. You hungry, baby? Oh, you hungry. Um, I'll make my coffee. Okay, they're eating. I just have a Trente Starbucks cup that I always recycle my cream. And I picked this up. It's Starbucks Blonde Roast um, iced coffee. I had a Ibotta rebate on it. Ooh, and I'm just now opening it for the first time. So let's see if I can get it open. My hands are wet. I can. So I just pour it in, even if I'm doing my own brewed coffee. Let's say that's enough right there. There are lines on the cup. What they mean, I have no idea. And then I add a little cream at a time until it is the correct color that I like. There we go, draw more. Perfect. I like it a little light when it's iced coffee. Then I dunk in my ice. I do the ice last, because if not, you get a big chunk of it and you can't stir. It, you know, when you pour the cold coffee over it, it sticks together. Like you probably all know that. All right, so here's the coffee for the day. Let's taste. Here we go. Oh, oh. I got my tripod a little too tight. Perfect. Now it isn't flavored, but that's okay. I could buy flavored syrup, but I don't really care for it. It has a funky fake taste most times. Most times. I do get blonde, um, vanilla at Starbucks, and I just deal with that flavor. All right, I'm going to grab a bar for breakfast, and then we're going to hit the road. I'll show you the bar I'm having today. All right, I'm going to have a keto bar. This is almond butter brownie. I haven't tried this flavor before, um, but these are really good for on my diabetes, but for ketogenic diet. The problem I ran into yesterday had a bar. They only have 240 calories. And this is what happened to me. <laughs> 
I ate my breakfast. I rode my bike. It's a 14 mile route out and a 14 mile ride back. So on the way out, at about 12 miles, I was like, oh, I need something. I'm out of energy. Like I had burned through all of my energy that I had in my body. You know what I'm saying? I don't have scissors. Um, so I ran out of energy, but I knew I was coming up on a stop and I was going to eat my bar. So I brought a bar and I brought a meat stick. Uh, the bar I brought maybe had 250 calories. The one thing I don't love about these is they're a little crumbly, but that's okay. Um, so I ate my bar, I ate my meat stick, so probably total maybe 350 calories. Rode back, started riding back, and at about the eight, eight miles, halfway mark, so seven mile mark, I started getting really weak, and I needed more fuel for my body, and I didn't have any with me. So that's a problem. I made it, but I was like uh, dragging. So still a little draggy today, to be honest with you. I'm craving steak, which is why I'm going to Costco. But anywho, and look at my hands. This is why I wear gloves. It's still sore there and my, my butt hurts from the seat. So having a bar this morning, as a quick on the go breakfast. I'm gonna to need to order more bars. So I think the thing I'm gonna to have to do is do two bars and maybe two meat sticks or some combination to get me enough calories to drive my bike that far. I know, crazy, huh? So that's where we're at yesterday. I did not, I just was drained all day. The rest of the afternoon when I got home, I took a little nap. I went and got dinner. Didn't even feel like cooking. The boys were happy about that. I went to Kentucky Fried Chicken. If you're keto, you can get a um, light or a dark meal. Well, some Kentucky Fried Chickens have grilled chicken. One of mine does, one does not. I always forget that when I go to the other one that they don't sell grilled chicken. I love it and the boys love it. So they got a little treat last night. I just peel off a couple little pieces of chicken and they eat it and it makes them happy. So we need some groceries today. We're going to change my nails. So if you're wanting to see um, me change my, my fingernails, I'm going to do that today. I'll do that on the vlog or I should do a separate video. Yeah. I'll do a separate video so you only have to see the nails if you don't want to watch the whole vlog. Um, oh, and for these bars, if you're wanting them, in the description box below, I have a code. And I think you get $15 off your first order. I think I get something off my orders. But um, if you want to try them, they're not cheap. I will tell you that. They're pretty pricey. Um... But as a diabetic and ketogenic, it's worth it to me. You'll have to decide for yourself if it's you know worth it for your lifestyle. But to have a portable food source is very important to me, especially when I'm riding my bike. I just dropped a piece. All right, I have to actually run in the Dollar Tree because I need something, not for our, for a haul tomorrow. But I forgot something when I was in there that I need for my nails and then we're gonna go I'm also looking for a new helmet did I say that already maybe who knows I need a new helmet so I'm thinking about going to like REI or I think in my by Costco we have an REI a Gander Mountain and a Field and Stream I highly doubt the Field and Stream will have helmets but I'm wondering if Gander Mountain or REI should have a helmet for me. All right, I will check back in with you. Back from the store. Got my helmet on. It fits it's a little snug. I may need to figure out the situation. How to get these a little looser. 
we'll figure it out. Right? Because that's how we roll. I don't like it that tight. So I have to figure out how to loosen up the strappies on this thing. So we'll do that or I'll have to return it. Um, I got these at Costco. I love, I'm gonna open them up because I'm gonna have one here in a minute. Put the rest in the fridge. But I enjoy little single servings because I hate it when my guacamole goes brown. So I prefer the little single servings. So I got a box with 16 cups and it was $12. So I got that. I'll clean up my fridge later with all of my snacky stuff. I did buy the Archer Brass Fed Beef Sticks. These are zero carbs. They're small. You get 28 sticks and they're like $14. So it's a little expensive, but you do what you gotta do. For the girls going on their trip, I got them some sunblock and 50. I like this brand. It's cruelty free. It is um, reef friendly. So it's not gonna ruin the ocean and the reefs. And it is cruelty free. Did I say that? Yes. Cruelty free, water resistant, broad spectrum, 50, 100% natural. So I got that for the girls. I actually used that same brand last summer and it was fabulous. Um, I, I went with a big thing of, of garlic. This is only $5.99, so I thought that was pretty reasonable price. Um, the little tiny jars were like a dollar or two. And then the steaks, which I will I will wrap these up individually and freeze them. But those are my steaks that I get at Costco because I love them. And they're New York Strip steaks put them in the fridge and that was everything I bought today so far I did not like the almond brownie bar Ugh. it wasn't good I won't repeat that bar but that's how we learn so I need to get the girls they're coming today so I need to get their stuff ready for them and I need to mess with this helmet and see if I can get the strap somehow longer for me we'll see I need it longer all right I'll be back okay hey, there's the bird feeder and it's awful we get it on the ground too but I'm getting birds I had the other day three red cardinals and a bunch of finch and they don't seem to mind that Wellington lays down here when he comes outside he loves to lay right behind that bush and just watches the neighborhood kids play. It's so cute. He loves it out here. But there's our feeder. I've already filled this thing like three times. So I have good birds. Yay! Hey guys. All right. It is 419. Peeling some eggs for the week. I think I'm feeling very spring-like. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make deviled eggs. Maybe later tonight, maybe tomorrow. I need to make dinner still, so I haven't done that. I did just video my nail tutorial. Well, I say tutorial. I just put on a set of these fake nails for you. You'll see that probably tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, so I thought that was a good idea. Getting ready to film a Dollar Tree haul. And yep, I'm wearing the same shirt for it all, guys. I can't help it. Been busy. I got all my stuff. I don't know if I told you, but I did find a new helmet, which makes me happy. And I think I got it fitting right. And now I'm just peeling eggs. I'll put them in the fridge. I'm going to cook a steak here in a little bit. I was going to grill it, but it's been so gross out today, like super overcast and windy and chilly, like 50, so not, but no sunshine. So we will avoid grilling today, but I've, I've been hankering for a steak. So I'll do that. Actually, I shall show you what I do to put them in the freezer. Um, I just wrap them up, but, and then put them all together in a zip bag. So I do that to keep them individual because I won't eat all four at one time. But I went to Aldi and picked up some 
salad making stuff. Just some spring mix and a, um, oh, I made homemade salad dressing. Do you ever make that, your own Italian dressing? I do it just to avoid any chemicals, but it's just um, olive oil. I use red wine vinegar, my Italian seasoning, garlic. That's it. Oh, and Dijon mustard. About a tablespoon of Dijon will help keep it um, emulsified. So that oil and vinegar don't separate as much. It still will separate a little bit, but not completely. And then I just store it in a mason jar. I'll show you when I dress my salad. I've been hankering for some spring food. Boiled eggs. Deviled eggs, really, I enjoy. And yeah, so I'm doing that. Need to film one more video. Then I need to do some editing tonight. I'm, oh, I'm also washing my bed. So I have taken off both duvet covers off my um, comforters. I'm washing those. I'm putting the top flannel away and bringing out the spring. I'm excited. I'll show you the end result. But right now I'm just washing. I'm washing the flannel. Sorry, I'm getting a paper towel to dry up. So that was it. I just peeled 10 eggs and I'm going to put those in the refrigerator because I'm not ready to do anything with them yet but I just leave them in the fridge. I will put my eggshells, I gotta take out the trash. Okay. Oh, here's my dressing. So I, I don't really measure, but I just put like a little more olive oil or a little more vinegar than olive oil because I like it more acidic, but you, it's whatever combination you like. Tablespoon of Dijon mustard and a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And then I put like two teaspoons of chopped garlic and that's it. That's the dressing. I like to make it ahead so that the, the, um, the dried up seasonings come back to life. So we're doing that. I gotta go film a Dollar Tree haul. So let's do that. And then we'll do more laundry. Laundry's a good thing. I'm so excited, guys. So my cousin stopped by and her father-in-law, Papa Ron, my cousin Eric's dad, framed something for me. So when I was in Scotland a few years ago, I went to Edinburgh Castle and looked at my family name. And that's our crest. So this is the family crest. And then this is a whole explanation of our name. And it's super exciting, and it talks about where the name comes from, the different spellings of it, and all of that. Super excited. So when I got back, I made copies for everybody and, and gave them out. And then her father-in-law framed it for us. I'm so excited. This makes me super happy. He made these frames with his own two hands and put them behind the glass and now myself and Sarah and Debbie we all have one for our home sorry for the light glare I'm gonna hang this in my living room I cannot wait I'm so excited like it's emotional even a little bit so now it'll be hanging on my wall forever and then there's one back here for Sarah and we have an extra copy and I have the original upstairs um, for them so I'm gonna hang that up as soon as I get furniture. I know, right? Crazy. Ugh. All right, so it is Sep. Alex, we don't tear up the carpet. Crazy cats. It's 720, my, my family stopped by for a visit, so I talked with them for a while. No steak for dinner tonight, which is perfectly okay with me. I will get something out of the fridge and I'll make that for dinner tomorrow night. But I think that's it for today. I'm pooped. This is a good weekend, a lot of exercise, and got a lot of errands done. And now I'm gonna relax and get ready. 7.20, get ready for work tomorrow. All right, everybody, well, I hope you enjoyed. And at the end, I will put the footage that was starting the vlog yesterday, talking about my Pelotonia ride and my bicycling yesterday. <laughs> All right, guys, I will talk with you later. Bye.